Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X4. I'm Shouty Productions, and in the last episode, we completed the intro stage and Web Spider stage, and now we're going to take on Frost Walrus. And he protects the secret weapon which lies inside the snow, even though you can't see the W because it's blocked by his big ass arm. So, this is a re recording. There is, uh, what's his name? I think it's Blizzard Buffalo. He's there in the background. Um, Frozen. I think there are a few other cameos as well throughout the stage. Frozen. I think Chill Penguin makes an appearance somewhere. But up here you can see this, uh, kind of hidden area with some power-ups and such. And if you use Web Spider's ability... <laughs> if you use Web Spider's ability correctly, that is, you can get up here where there's an extra life and even more health. MORE HEALTH! So there's plenty of health if you want to come back and grind later. Um, but as I was saying, and let me check real quick, actually, to make sure, okay, um, if my, uh, what is it, uh, Pinnacle Studio is not dropping frames like a bitch, which is good, because, um, when I went back to edit the video, I saw that the, uh, audio and video were way out of sync, and I was just gonna be like, eh, oh well, whatever, uh, I guess you guys are just gonna have to get over it, but then I thought about it, and I was like, well, I'm redoing this LP, because I didn't like the way the original came out. So, it'd be kind of stupid if I didn't do a good job with this. Like, if I didn't do my best, didn't give uh, my best possible performance. So I figured I'd go back and re-record it. This is still, uh, like, live commentary and all that stuff. I just had to literally start a new save file, because this is after I finished the whole LP. I thought I was done with it, but I had to go back and start up a new file. But, no big deal. No problem. I just didn't really feel like going back through Web Spider stage, but I did it. So, here we are, Frost uh, Walrus stage, near the end of the first part. You just gotta kind of try and hug the right wall because there is a giant gap below, and you want to be careful of that, and we should be good. Yep. And now we are approaching a mini-boss. I'm actually kind of glad I'm getting to redo this, because the first time, I, or the time of the, um, yeah, when I did this stage before, um, I died against this mini boss, and then I died against the actual boss, and I don't know why, because neither are all that difficult. Um, this guy, he should not give you all that much trouble. He's just, he has two form kind of thing. He's, uh, two different forms. The first one is the thing that you've seen. He has these three claw things, and you just gotta shoot that red eye ish thing that's obviously his weak point. Then he'll go to this form, which is a bit more dangerous. He'll start spinning around, trying to bash into you, and that's usually where uh, I s tend to screw up. Sometimes I just get really unlucky, and he bashes into me a lot. Um, but once he goes into that other form, he's generally pretty easy to dodge. I would try to shoot him while he's high up, just in case he tries to rush at you. Um, and if he's too low, then you're pretty much not even going to be able to get past him. He'll occasionally go up and slam the ground, which will cause icicles to fall. Um... And that's the thing I was talking about. Good thing I was able to dash under him. Um, and that's really it. Sometimes he'll just close up and keep going. And if, when he closes up, you can't hit him or do any damage to him. So you just gotta kind of dash under him. But it seems that he's determined to finish this battle just bouncing around in that spiky form. Which isn't really so bad once you get the hang of it. Once you actually start paying attention. But um, hopefully I can beat this guy. Yep, there you go. So, no retries or anything like that. Um, I don't know if I explained what that one tank that I picked up before was, but I think, I'm pretty sure what it does is it makes it so that whenever you uh, start after a game over, or whatever, you start with four lives as opposed to two. Um, so it's really not that important of an upgrade to pick up. It's completely optional. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, it's... I mean, if you want to get 100%, then you might as well pick it up. It's really not that, uh, too much of an inconvenience. That's the main reason why I would do, uh, Web Spider stage before this. Um, but I also, uh, prefer to get the, um, the leg upgrade as quickly as possible. Don't tell me I can't. Okay, there we go. Uh, and up here, if you look, there's the Weapon Tank, which is the first appearance of a... Or no, not the... What is it called, exactly? I don't know. I think... It, I thought it was a... It isn't an E tank, it's a W tank. I thought I... Well, that's another good reason I uh, re-recorded this, because I think I called it an E tank. I don't know why. But 
it's a weapon energy tank, and it's the first appearance of it in any X game, I think. Um, and basically, instead of storing life energy, uh, it stores weapon energy. It's pretty simplistic and self-explanatory. Um, so, just pick up that. But neither of the tanks in this stage are ones that I will end up using in this LP. They're really not that useful. Those guys, they are just really fond of freezing the stage and making it a bit more difficult for you. But um, it's really not that hard because they don't freeze all that much of the stage. So here we are at the boss. Uh, Blizzard, no, 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 Blizzard Buffalo, no. Uh, Frost Walrus, who is incredibly easy, the easiest boss in the game, though I did terrible against him in my previous run. So I'm glad that that run just turned out being uh, awful anyway. Um, okay, so what does he have to say? They sent a kid like you after me? I promise to end this quickly. Yeah, the boss dialogue isn't too fantastic, I guess, sir. I don't know. I, I like the fact that it's short, though. Don't get me wrong. Just, I don't see why they bothered to put it in if they were just going to, you know, make it so short and meaningless. But whatever. I'd rather have it be short and meaningless than long and trying to have a point, but it really doesn't because Mega Man X games don't have uh, that great of um, plots. Though X5 is actually a bit interesting because it does uh, involve the whole um, X versus Zero thing. But um, we will get into that, of course, once we actually do X5. So anywho, Frost Walrus, he's really not that bad. Um, really not at all. He'll just rush at you, and all you have to do is climb up a wall and do a nice little air dash above him, which is uh, why I like to get the boots. Or, yeah, the boot upgrade, or the leg upgrade, whatever you want to call it. But you can also easily do a dash jump over him. I don't know, he, he can be a pain if he puts uh, ice spike things on the wall, but um, you can just shoot the ice spikes away. So now we've taken care of Frost Walrus, we've gotten Frost Tower, and we're going to move on to the boss that is weak to Frost Tower, which would be, uh, where is he? Oh, I think it's Jet Stingray, that's his name. Now this is uh, the birth of the mini-game stage type thing. He destroyed the city and escaped to the sea. Which is, I guess, a plausible theory, considering the city's being destroyed and Jet Stingray is escaping in the second part of the stage. See, the thing about this stage, and all these kinds of stages, is you want to get the, um... There's often these annoying collectibles that are just, uh scattered throughout the uh, area. There's a heart tank in this segment and there's a sub tank in the next, which I'm gonna have to be careful to get. Um, I have to just, nope, th this isn't the area. There's one very close to here where I just have to fall down as opposed to jumping. And as soon as I get that, I can start actually dodging stuff. There we go, got the heart tank. But this is pretty much the first stage in a Mega Man X game that isn't, um, you know, revolved around playing as Mega Man X in his normal platforming, uh, platform shooter glory. Um, I don't know what I'm, uh, I, you know what I'm trying to say. You're not playing Mega Man X. You're playing as Mega Man X on a bike or on some sort of vehicle. Um, and this becomes prominent later on in the X games. I think in X8, there's like two stages where you're just on a vehicle, which is kind of annoying. But X game, oh, X game, X8 was overall a pretty solid game. When compared to, say, oh, I don't know, Mega Man X7, Mega Man X6, it was a pretty good game, if you look at those two games. But overall, it still had something for improvement. I don't know. If they ever make a Mega Man X9, which I... Psh, who knows at this point. Um, the future of Mega Man, bit uncertain at this point, because the, uh, you know, the creator left and all that stuff. Um, <laughs> I have never pulled that off before. Generally, Mega Man X rams into that block and the bike explodes, but that works too. Um, but yeah, I don't know what's going to happen with Mega Man from this point forward, because uh, the creator of Mega Man left, Mega Man Legends was cancelled, Mega Man Universe, I think it was called, was cancelled. So who really knows? But when was the last time besides Mega Man 9 and 10 that a good Mega Man game came out? So whatever. I'm impressed that you found me, but your search is over. Get ready, X! gonna rape you. Jet Stingray isn't really gonna rape us though. He's actually going to be raped extremely hard. 
because he is such a broken boss. In fact, a lot of the bosses in the X Games are extremely broken once you have their weakness. This is all you really need to do to beat him. You just need to use your Frost Tower. Jump up and use your Frost Tower whenever he comes down. As long as he keeps coming down on the same side, he will not be a problem at all. This is easy. It's a very effective strategy. You just have to make sure you freeze him before he can do anything. So your timing has to be pretty much spot on. But if you do this, Jet Stingray will fall extremely quickly. And I will not take any damage. Well, I'm not going to say that. But if you use this strategy, you shouldn't take any damage. Rephrase that so I don't sound too cocky. Because when I get too cocky, Miyamoto puts me in my place. Yes, Miyamoto. He was involved in the development of this game. Don't try to convince me otherwise. It won't work. Because again, Miyamoto is every video game developing company ever. Every industry ever. He actually uh, designed Mega Man X. It wasn't Dr. Light. But um, we got the Ground Hunter. So I'm going to casually change the topic from uh, my most hated rival to our new weapon. And moving on, that was a very quick stage, and we got both upgrades without really any hassle, which is great. I expected that to be a lot more difficult, but I only died once um, on the first part of the stage. So, yeah, I am Shadow Productions. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.